Rishi theme comes with a different layouts to display your blog post articles. In this video, I will show you how to configure your blog page settings. Go to Customizer. Under Posts and Pages, go to Blog Page. Here, you can select the blog page layout from four different options available. By default, the classic layout is selected. You can go for the listing layout. You can go for the grid layout. Or you can go for the masonry grid layout. Let's stick with classic layout for now. Now you can configure post elements of your blog articles, like the featured image. If you want to make the featured image disappear from all of your blog post articles, simply click on this eye icon and it will hide all of the images from your blog post articles. If you want to display it again, you have to click on the eye icon once again. This option of making the post elements appear or disappear is available for all of the post elements. Now, if you want to further configure the featured image element, click on this drop down arrow and you have more options here, like you can select the image ratio. Simply click here, then you can select image ratio from either original You can select predefined and when you have selected predefined, you have four more options that you can select from. Or you can also customize your image ratio by selecting the custom option. Let's go with original. And when you select original, you can also select the image size. From the drop down option, you can select from range of options that are available here. Like if you want to select medium, you can select medium. Let's go with full size. You can also select image visibility across different devices. Next is post meta. Post meta is the information that is displaying right above your title. If you want to configure this, again, click on the drop down arrow. Here, you can see that the categories item has already been added and it is also displaying as the post meta. If you want to add more items, click on the drop down arrow and you can select from any of the items available. Let's say you want to select author. Simply select author and click on add. which makes the author display on the post meta. If you want to further configure these items, you only have to click on the drop down arrow here once again. Then you have more options like making your author avatar visible. If you have added an image, that is what displays here because I have not added any image, it is not displaying. You can also increase or decrease your avatar size. Then you can also select the label. So instead of buy, if you want to add anything else, you can just remove it. Then you have to add in the label of your choice. Similarly, you have more configuration options for categories. Again, click here. Then you will find options like selecting the category separator. Currently, the separator number 1 is selected. You can go for a separator number 2, 3 or 4. Let's select number 3. And the changes are made accordingly. You can also select the divider style from normal to filled. Then you can also select the divider color. Simply click here. Then you can select the color of your choice. Like if you want to go for black, then you can select the black color or any other color of your choice. Let's stick with blue. 
Similarly, you can also select the hover color. The configuration option is available for all of the items that you select from here. Next is the title. Under title, you can select the heading tag from the available options. Then you can also select the font size. You can go for a bigger font size or you can go for a smaller one. You can also select font size across different devices. Like, let's say, you want a smaller font size for your desktop device viewers. Then for the tablet view, let's say you want a bigger font size, then you can set the font size accordingly. Similarly, for the mobile view, you can set the font size as per your wish. You can easily select the responsiveness of font size across different devices. Next is post meta number 2. Similar to post meta number 1, you will find configuration options here as well. Right now, the elements that are added for post meta number 2 are hidden. So let's make some of them visible by clicking on the eye icon. Apart from the items that are already added, if you want to add more items, then you simply have to select from the options and you have to click on add. So let's say if I want to add an updated date, I only have to select the updated date option. Then I have to click on add. And immediately the updated date will be displayed here along with the rest of the items. If you want to delete any one of the items, you simply have to click on the cross icon. For example, right now author is showing at the bottom as well as at the top. So I can delete this one. So simply click on the cross icon and the author will be deleted for the post meta number 2. If you want to further customize the items that you have added, you simply have to click on the drop down arrow, then you will find more customization options. You also have the option to select the items divider from the four options available here. Next is the excerpt. Excerpts are the summary of your blog post articles that are displaying beneath each of the blog posts on your blog page. To configure excerpt, again, click on the arrow. You have the option to select the post content. By default, it is selected as excerpt. If you select content, then full article will be displayed as your excerpt underneath each of the blog posts on your blog page. Let's select excerpt. And when you select excerpt, you also have the option to select the length of the excerpt in words. Like currently, only 30 words are selected. If you want to select a higher length, then type in a higher value. For example, if I type in 86, then 86 words will be displayed as the excerpt for all of the blog post articles. Next is the divider. It is currently invisible. So let's make it visible by clicking on the eye icon. And this faint line that you are seeing here is your divider. To configure the divider, you can click here, then you can set the margin from here. Next is the read more button. You can select simple read more button or you can go for a button appearance, which will display the read more in button. You can also change the text from here. Just remove it, then type in the text of your choice. You also have the option to either show or hide the arrow. You can also sort the post elements. Like for example, if you want the divider to appear right below the title, then you simply have to 
drag it and drop it right below the title. Then it will display the divider right below the title. You can easily sort any of the post elements following the same process. I'm going to make the divider invisible. But you can select your preference, the control is in your hands. Next is the post navigation or pagination. By default, the pagination is selected as numbered. If you want to go for infinite scroll, then you can select infinite scroll. Which will load all of your blog posts until and unless it has come to an end. Let's go with the numbered. Next, you can select sidebar layout. You can either go for the right sidebar, which is to have the sidebar on the right and it is also the default sidebar layout. You can go for the left sidebar or you can go for no sidebar. If you have selected grid or masonry grid layout as your block page layout, like let's select grid layout for now, then you will notice that having a sidebar will not look very attractive. In that case, you can go for no sidebar layout. And when you select a different layout, you will also have the option to select the number of posts per row. Let's select three, you can go up to four. Then you can also enable the stretch layout option. Upon enabling the stretch layout option, the container width will be stretched to the end of the screen. And this is what your blog page will look like. It looks much more neater and tidier. Let's go for the right sidebar layout, the default, and let's select the classic layout. And I will also disable the stretch layout option. Finally, you can select the block container. It can either be unboxed, you can go for content boxed. You can go for boxed. Or you can go for the default. I would recommend you to play around with the options and select the one that you like the most or that suits the most as per your site's preference and requirement. After you are done, click on publish to save your changes. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.